This is about our 2016 Arctic cruise. It went from the Netherlands to Norway to Iceland and Scotland. We were on Holland America's MS Princeton now. We have about 825 passengers. And it lasted 20 days. three stops in Norway, it's hard to read. But. And then we went up to Svalbard, S-V-A-L-B-A-R-D, which is where Spitsbergen is. Uh, some people call it Spitsbergen anyway. <coughs> we had two stops there at Lang Langyrbyen and Nyasalen, and then we cruised down to Iceland here. We had three stops in, in Iceland, then one stop in uh, Scotland and back to Amsterdam. These are just some of the flowers and scenes of Amsterdam. If you've never been there, it's a quite a, a beautiful city. This is a flower market along the canals. Many canals, it's a means of transportation and they're, they're just like it is in Venice. Bicycles are everywhere. Here are people bicycling through town, and it's, you really have to watch out for the bicycles in town. There's a three-level parking garage that's just for bicycles in Amsterdam. There's something like 150 or 200,000 bikes can be parked in there. Can you imagine trying to find your bike? <laughs> and uh, the ladies ride to work on their bikes, and they sit up you think they're Mary Poppins the way they sit on their bikes. It's just unbelievable. Now, each day we get one of these things. So you're going to see one of these for each of our stops. I Fjord, Norway, and it gives the forecast temperature, sunrise, and sunset time. And you'll notice that for five days, this says continuous daylight. <laughs> this is I Fjord, beautiful old town, way back in a fjord. Here's the hotel that's right by the dock. You notice the activity in the water here? People were getting ready for a triathlon the next day, and this was their morning swim to get in. Nice place for a triathlon. Yeah. The place was buzzing with people. But beautiful scenery. I love this picture because of the, the reflection of the clouds. And this is the fjord, and we're, we're on, on the ship there. This is the same place. There's the ship. Notice how many lifeboats are on our side. There's enough for everybody on the crew, everybody on board the ship. You'll see other ships that have eight maybe 10 mm -hmm. lifeboats. They're big boats. <laughs> There's a big waterfall that uh, we, we went to to see. Here's the next day. We're, we've sailed overnight, and we dock in the morning. And this is in Bergen, Norway. Just notice the architecture. Notice how clean the streets are. People really are proud of their town and make it make it really pretty. <coughs> Notice there's no trash along the And you got trolleys there too? What's that? They have trolleys? Uh, yeah, they must have some trolleys. We didn't get on a trolley <coughs> there. This is a, a famous uh, area that was refurbished and the uh, artist had many colors they wanted to paint these buildings. It's really pretty. Nice architecture. This almost looks like a train station to me. I don't think that's what it was. <laughs> Notice the ever-present 7-Eleven. <laughs> and 
dumpsters. And the dumpsters. <laughs> Do they recycle as well? Everything. I'm not sure how much uh, Norway does. Iceland is very uh, e ecologically uh, active. This is our next day. This is Allison, Norway. Now they have a, a, a bus we took up to the top of the mountain, then there's a funicular to come back down. This, this is what I'm talking about. This is our ship. Look at all the lifeboats on this uh, on this. That must hold at least 2,000 people. We generally go on the smallest ship that Holland America has. It has about 800 people and a lot of the um, staff. So it's a, and it gets in places that other ships can't get into. That's why we like it. Herb, you seem to have some concern about your boat sinking. You uh, <laughs> well, there was keep mentioning one, that. Uh, there was one. Yeah. Well, the first thing you do, if you've ever been, never been on a cruise, the first thing you do is you go through the emergency briefing. You have to go to your station, and your lifeboat is up there. And they sometimes put one down, but everybody doesn't have to get into the lifeboat. They figure if they have the lifeboat ready to go, and you have to get off, you'll get off. <laughs> Okay, now we're sailing towards Longyear Beacon. That small barge is part of Norway, but it's a several-day cruise up there. This is this is the on the TV all the time. If you want to go to this channel, it shows where the ship is. The ship is right there. This is our track, and we're heading up to there. And every night. The room steward has some kind of an animal made out of towels. They're all cute. <laughs> this, this, this is This is in one of the towns. We they paint they paint round river rocks and make characters out of it. They were really cute. We didn't bring them back because we couldn't put that much weight in our bags. We already had a weight belt. Now we're <laughs> Now, this is the northern part of Norway, meaning we're well, I mean, we've been underway a day and a half, uh, two days, and we're going up to this area. Notice what, what, back, back, back. Notice what it says here. We're in 24 hours of daylight. It's, it's toward dusk much of the time, but. They have room darkening shades. Yeah. <laughs> Do they have periods where they have continuous dark? Yes. Well, the, the, the cruise ships don't go there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't want to go there. Oh, well, the I, winter, I The winter. <laughs> the winter <laughs> this area can have three, three and a half months continuous daylight. That means they pay the piper the next season six months later when it's that long darkness. Now, this is where they like to say, Santa's letters come. This is as far north as you can go. This is a huge mailbox. To show you how big it is, there's June standing by the mailbox. And you, and you keep mail cards there. In fact, that's one that came to Max. Yeah. Oh. And uh, in Longyearbyen, mining is a big thing in that area. Not anymore because there's not a demand. But uh, Longyear Bend, uh, that's why you see the uh, um, miner there. And this is a story. This lady, uh, we were at a concert one night, uh, and we were out talking to the, the gal that performed. And the woman in front of me, uh, the, the performer had sung uh, Dolly Parton songs. And, and this lady was asking her about it, and, and she said, um, the scout said, uh, yeah, I know Dolly Parton. So the, the, the performer said, well, how do you know her? She, she said, well, I used to work for American Airlines. So uh, she used to fly with us. Well, that made a connection immediately with us, with me. And I said, my husband flew for American. So uh, we got together. And they had actually flown together many, many years ago. So <laughs> oh, I see. In about the 70s. And this gal, this gal stopped flying 
and was an agent, a gate agent down in Dallas. I, I ran into her several times down there. So we just, Bill shared a story where he ran into an old friend the same way. That's one of the, that's really one of the jewels of traveling for us. This is this is June if you can't tell. <laughs> I remind you, it's, you see the high temperature? Yeah. Continuous daylight. That's just a map. Now this is the map of the Svalbard area. We then cruise up to about where the edge of the polar ice cap is, which is there. This is 80 degrees north latitude. We got as far north as 81 degrees north. That meant we were about 540 miles from the North Pole. Oh, we have to tell you about the horses. This is, we're in Iceland now. The Icelandic yeah, horses. I'm just kidding. I'll put it in here because I'm right. making fun of the place. <laughs> um, anyway, we learned about the Icelandic horse. It is, so, the, the breed is so pure. They do not allow any other horses in. When their horses go out, even if they're championship horses, they'll show they cannot come back to the country. If so they we, leave they Iceland, we, they cannot come back. We just thought that was the best thing. <laughs> That's how pure they want to yeah. keep this place. Yeah. We didn't see many horses. <laughs> Whoa. Did they do that when they find this stuff? Now this is, see the white at the top? That's the edge of the polar ice cap. And because of the icebergs that were the pieces of ice, the captain didn't want to go any further north no, to get to that. <laughs> <laughs> now this is a lifeboat from our ship. <coughs> Took a few privileged people on. Notice we're back on the deck taking a picture. <laughs> but the photographer, there's a, there's a videographer during the whole cruise that is capturing the whole, the whole cruise. And he was out there looking back at the ship. <clears throat> You'll see a few pictures of ice, I mean, uh, glaciers. Yeah. Now, this is my watch here. That's 12.03, three minutes after midnight, OK? This is what, wow. what it looked like. The sun, we were in a cloudy spot where the ship was. But over there on the land, it was clear the sun was shining on it. But it's just amazing to see daylight at the time of the night. That's where I've read this shirt for a long time, at least. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you meet people from your state or from your, your city when you're a long cruise. I wore my rotary jacket, it's a windbreaker, uh, just to see if we uh, meet some Rotarians. Another continuous daylight, 31 degrees of temperature. Oh, okay. Now, one morning, it was about 7 o'clock, we were coming up to uh, Fjord, and the crew, somebody in the, in the uh, crow's nest, saw a polar bear on land. Now, you, we never see them on, on land. Any pictures you see are normally on ice. But here's one, and this is zoomed in as far as my <laughs> camera could, and then digitally zoomed in, but we could see them. The polar bear. But the captain made an announcement. People came out onto the deck in droves. I think they just put a coat on over their pajamas and they were out the sea. We've been waiting the whole time to see a polar bear. Now, this is as enhanced, enhanced as I can get it. This is the model of polar bear, and that's a cup. That's the same morning. Same time, yeah. Now, this. this Polar bears are really dangerous. In Long Year Bend, everyone carries a gun. They tell you to carry a gun. When you go in the store, you pop it up outside. But they can be very uh, ferocious. They're a danger. The town is kind of protected by fencing. But if, if anybody goes through a gate out into the, to the wild, they have to carry a weapon just to protect themselves. Now, this. This area in Miasin, uh is a research area. 
and all of us had to stay on the paths on the road and walk around and they had people along the way to, to make sure people stayed off of wait can you back up one second you can't see it this this dark stuff here is a, a, had a reddish color that's kind of a lichen that's growing and they don't want anybody walking down through there you can walk on the road but not down in there and Jim was just reading that uh, is it long you're being to have a the uh, all the seeds in a in a cave five yes how many was it oh my gosh millions of seeds they have a seed uh, depository yes. in the perm in the permafrost yeah. Unbelievable. Five hundred thousand different seeds, or something like mm -hmm. that. And they were saying that uh, when Syria had all the problems, and they Syria has one of these uh, too, apparently not as big, but theirs was the Aleppo. Aleppo. In Aleppo. Aleppo. And so this, they sent some seeds to them. Hopefully, they're still there. But, uh, it was fascinating to read about that. That's the way vegetation will be repopulated on the earth <coughs> after. Crazy stuff. And this is a sled dog here in this little cage. It's a pretty big cage. <laughs> yeah, big cage. <clears throat> this is a one gift shop in this little town. <laughs> and this is the line. She goes here and up to there and over here and the checkout's over here. But the good thing about that is this is a ploy to get you to pick up more stuff. <laughs> and <laughs> But before you get to the checkout. But you mean you really need people. You, you talk to and people. And there was nothing else to do, so it was okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we've left Svalbard. We've left the polar ice cap. Now we're sailing toward Accumulate uh, 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 Iceland. And notice the continuous daylight is gone. What happens to the gala? What's that? You got a gala. It's yeah, it's a gala. It's a gala. gala. <laughs> now this is in Iceland. Iceland is a country with an awful lot of geothermal energy, and they harness it and use it to create electricity, heat houses. But that's why we're back in a much. Uh, more temperate climate. <laughs> now they got these these trolls, and one troll snuck into the picture. I don't know how they got it. <laughs> but this is some of the vegetation you see there. It, after seeing all those rocky hills and mountains and lichen, and that's all there was there, it's nice to see vegetation again. This is just a picture outside somebody's house. They have a little tiny yard, but they love their flowers. And we did too. This is yard art. Oh, wow. June loves yard art. I love yard art. <laughs> in fact, down in Cape Charles, June had a little red kid's bed. I mean, a, a doll bed. And she made a flower bed. Oh, oh. That's a close we got to a polar bear. <laughs> it's pretty close. Yeah. yeah. But you notice how the mountains just loom right up. Now, we had word leaving one town, sailing out to the open seas, that there were there were whales out there. Well, yeah, there's one right there. And, and we stood and stood, everyone stood and waited for the water spout. You know, that's where you can find And Herb, was, Herb saw something like 30 of these. Yeah, you, you but see a lot of water spouts, never did get one but with the from such a distance. I mean, you would say, would you take the picture? Well, this has a water spout, but it, it was hard to see. The, and but, the one on the breach, right? Yeah. While we were out there, and I stayed out there probably an hour and a half. It was dinner time for a lot of people, and they went in the evening. There was one whale, two that were playing. You could see they were playing just by the activity in the water. And one came out like out of the water like that. Wow. Breached, wow. fell into the water like the, what did, what's the insurance company do? Uh, 
Pacific Whatever. Life. Whatever. Pacific <laughs> Life. Yeah, Pacific Life. There it is. But a, there were probably 100 or 150 people out on the, de out on the deck with cameras. Nobody, Nobody got, got a picture of that. Oh. Nobody. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're now in Isafjordr, Iceland. Go ahead. One of the things that Herb and I find every trip, there are those we call nuggets, unexpected um, things that happen. Uh, and this was one of them. This is this is the fresh water coming down in the spring. Herb didn't drink that incidentally. I did drink mine. <laughs> this is our this is our our guide, and her van took us. Uh, we can want our own. There were about uh, eight people, maybe nine. We found in the van. We, we like that way of sightseeing rather than going up with the hordes of people. Mm -hmm. and so we generally try to get something around. And this was just a special. special time. Now this I got to explain to you. This is a map of a tunnel we're about to go in. Have you ever seen oh a tunnel gosh. that has an intersection in it? Oh, wow. <laughs> now, this leg and this leg, we know this leg, this occurs. This is two lane traffic through here. And this is two kilometers, this is four kilometers. One direction on this leg, and I assume it's on the same, the other one. One direction has to give way to any car coming from the Straight other direction. Straight at you. <laughs> That's just the rules of the road. And you get in the tunnel and they have to find a pullout just wide enough to let the other car go by. And this is the entry to the, to the or in, this may be in the tunnel where the where the road goes off to the to the right. But it was it was very interesting to see how this works. But you could see there's no cars. They're very I mean, it's, drivers. It's it's not as though you're in a metropolitan area. Are you driving? No. Was, that? was someone else driving? Or? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. This this gal who was, who was pouring the water. These are fish bones. Dried fish. They dry fish, hang them up, and there are a lot of sheep around. I mean, there are more sheep than people in Iceland. Trust me. Uh, One of the here. things they do with their sheep, uh, they put them out to graze in the spring, and they're, they're, they just wander around. All the farms, I guess, share space. And then in September, on the 23rd, every year, it's gather the sheep day. So everyone, cousins, grandparents, uh, everyone in the family, comes and helps to gather the sheep. And, claim, and you claim your own, claim your sheep, and take them home. It's each one has a chip in its ear, so, that, so they, they can read they who's in They can identify them. Uh, but this lady that you saw, they have a little farm and they have 30, so she was telling us that they have, that's not very good. Uh, and then, We're uh, almost out of time. Okay. Here's Flattery. This is a little town on a peninsula in this bay. Go ahead, next. That's a picture of it. Now, I don't know if you can see this. That's the mountain. They had an avalanche here in 1995. It killed about 24, 25 people in the town. This is the barrier they built of earth in case of another avalanche coming down. This is supposed to divide the snow and make the worst of the snow go that way and that way and not come into the town. This is the list of the people who were killed in 1995. Wow. It wiped out oh. probably a quarter of the town. Well, as you can imagine, wool is a big thing in Iceland. <laughs> and they actually put uh, knitted around, around this bicycle wheel, which I thought was really great. That's great art. We are in That's your art. <laughs> and they put a little sweater on This was a cold rock. <laughs> needed oh. <to> <laughs> These are just some scenes of, as we were driving along toward the roof of the farm of this uh, woman. That's, that's, that's her. She and her husband are very creative entrepreneurs. This that's is, her farm. This is looking across the water, and this is her farm. That's where they keep their sheep in the winter when it's uh, snowy. And that's, that's, where, that's her house. She took us to her home. This is the, one of the most special things that we did on our trip. Um, <laughs> and it was just lovely. So, um, and this is Emma, their dog. 
this is her garden. They grow, they grow their food. Um, she has beautiful, beautiful plants. And the other thing that they do for income, uh, have you heard of eiderdown pillows? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, eiderdown ducks uh, nest close to her house on 3,000 nests. And she goes out and gathers the, the eiderdown after they have hatched. And she brings it to her house and dries it. And then she packages it up and she sends it to Germany. Wow. She's got a supplier of somebody that wants the item down. She sends it there. So that's, um, that's part of their income. Next to Reykjavik. Reykjavik, I see. Go ahead. One of the things that is interesting that in Iceland there's a there are two plates the Eurasia, Europe, Eurasian plate and the North American plate goes right across the island of, of uh, Iceland. This is some of the this is some of the area. These these Oriental kids here uh, wanted to step on both plates. I don't think that's the exact plates, but it they know it's moving something like. Uh, six centimeters a year. These, wow. these plates are still moving. <clears throat> this is in a geyser area. Notice any place you see steam coming up, then people standing around waiting for it. Waiting for, it to waiting go. for that. Here's one that <laughs> it's like the whales. If I'm going to get a picture of this, this water is 200 degrees out of these houses. This is the power plant where they convert the thermal energy into electricity. And this is how the thermal energy gets here or gets back out of the town. But the people in Iceland have their electricity provided gratis. They don't pay for electricity because it's all generated. So we'll leave, leave it here uh, with us. Uh, <laughs> That's Iceland right up there. Notice that Eurasian plate and the North American plate goes right across Iceland. So you can see where the geothermal areas are. These are geothermal areas that are potential not, not for development. The states, but. This is in Reykjavik. This is a, a building that was built and it's now a convention center that <coughs> was very, very controversial. But these, what look like prisons here, is the structure of the building. And, and this is from the inside. You can see what these prisons look like, how the, the structure of the building is. Here I'm standing talking to the guy. They have infinite number of colors of lights that they can turn on, it's computer generated. And when they have conventions there, they put the logo of the company. So they, have, they can have a big rotary logo right <laughs> on the side of this building. They could. Just the yeah. These are just scenes in, in Reykjavik. Reykjavik is the becoming end. very much a tourist area, as is all the places that we've been. Um, they're busy building hotels to accommodate people. It's only a six hour flight from Dulles Airport to Reykjavik. So, it's, it's well within reach of people who want to go. Oh, and this is a lady who's on our ship from South Africa. She took one of our men with her. Um, oh, she's a Rotarian. <laughs> usually, usually you meet a Rotarian. Uh, now we're back in Scotland on our way home. This, since we've been to Edinburgh a couple of times, uh, we stayed in Dunfermline, which is where the ship was docked. And it was a Sunday afternoon and uh, just a, a pretty day to be out. These are kids doing archaeological digs around a cemetery of the church you'll see in just a minute. Look how small they they're, are. They're, they're young kids. They were uncovering gravestones and they were documenting the names on it and then they were going to cover it back up. Uh, they, and uh, back in the 1600s when these, these graves were put there, uh, 